Hello Dub Nation, it's always a thrill to connect with you, especially as we're about to reveal the latest news that could shape the fate of our beloved Golden State Warriors, but before we dive into this whirlwind of information, let me make a friendly request, show us some love by clicking the like button to strengthen our bond and hey, if you are not subscribed yet, join our channel for a thrilling and emotional journey. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay ahead of the game. Warriors on the brink of wasting a crucial year after off-season disaster. The outlook was promising for the Golden State Warriors early in free agency. They secured three valuable players, DeAnthony Melton, Kyle Anderson, and Buddy Heald, sparking optimism that these additions were just the beginning of something greater on the horizon. But that optimism has quickly dissipated. Lori Markkinen's contract renegotiation and extension with the Utah Jazz have left the Warriors with a deep roster but lacking the firepower needed to truly support Stephen Curry. Any major move for the Warriors may now have to wait until next offseason, when Stephen Curry will be 37 years old. The only glimmer of hope is that Golden State still has its young talent and future draft assets largely untouched, giving them the chance to be key players in the market when the next big star becomes available. For many fans, though, this is cold comfort after missing out on Markkanen and former 9X All-Star Paul George before free agency. NBA writer and analyst David Dennis Jr. even labeled the Warriors' offseason as a disaster during Wednesday's episode of NBA Today. Even for those holding out hope that Golden State will eventually land an all-star caliber player, Tim Kawakami of The Athletic has offered a more pessimistic view, suggesting that the wait could be much longer. I don't know what's out there, even by February. This could be a reset until, next, July, when other players become available, potentially including Lori Markkinen, Kawakami stated on the latest episode of the Warriors Plus Minus podcast. If the Warriors are forced to wait until next offseason for something significant to materialize, it essentially means they're wasting yet another year where their greatest player of all time might be struggling just to make the play-in tournament. Not only would this squander the remaining prime years of Curry's career, but it also risks putting the 2x MVP in a position of growing frustration with the team's trajectory. Even if Golden State lands a star player in July, Curry will be 37 years old, preparing for his 16th NBA season. Meanwhile, the franchise will be relying on significant, perhaps unrealistic, leaps from Jonathan Kuminga and Brandon Podziemski, with hopes that Andrew Wiggins can somehow return to his 2022 playoff form, a prospect many would consider miraculous at this point. To end on a slightly more hopeful note, the NBA landscape can change quickly. Just because there doesn't appear to be another star-level player available right now, doesn't mean that won't change in the next six months, especially once the season is in full swing. Stephen Curry silences doubters, leads Team USA to thrilling comeback victory over Serbia. After a relatively quiet Olympic run by his elite standards, Golden State Warriors Stephen Curry roared to life, propelling Team USA to a dramatic 95-91 win over Serbia in Thursday's semi-final. Despite entering the game as heavy favorites after four dominant wins, Team USA found themselves in serious trouble when Serbia surged ahead by 15 late in the third quarter. Curry was already in the midst of his best Olympic performance, with 27 points through the first three quarters. But the most crucial part of his night was yet to come, as he ensured his team's place in the gold medal game after narrowly avoiding a major upset. In a standout Olympic performance, Stephen Curry delivered a game-high 36 points against Serbia. With Team USA still trailing by 11 with just over 7 minutes remaining, Curry led the charge, narrowing the gap with a pivotal three-pointer just over two minutes left. Not stopping there, the 36-year-old orchestrated a key steal and layup 40 seconds later, and then sealed the victory with two clutch free throws in the final 10 seconds. In his first Olympic appearance, Curry had scored just 29 points in total over the first four games, drawing criticism and raising doubts about his role and impact on a star-studded Team USA. But all doubts were emphatically erased on Thursday, as Curry's 36 points and 9 three-pointers showcased his legacy-defining brilliance on the international stage. The 2x MVP finished the game shooting 12 of 19 from the field, including a remarkable 9 of 14 from beyond the arc, while also contributing 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal in 33 minutes. His performance wasn't just about individual excellence, it was about stepping up when his country was on the brink of disaster. Serbia's three-time NBA MVP Nikola Jokic contributed 17 points, 5 rebounds, and 11 assists, but it was Atlanta Hawks guard Bogdan Bogdanovic who led Serbia with 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists in a game where they once held a 17-point lead. With the pressure on, Team USA's veteran superstars took control. Curry, 
36, Joel Embiid, 19, LeBron James, 16, and Kevin Durant, 9, combined for 80 of the team's 95 points, while Steve Kerr's rotation left Jason Tatum out of the mix once again, with only six players seeing more than 13 minutes on the court. Team USA will now face France in the gold medal game after the host nation sensationally knocked out reigning world champions Germany in a thrilling 73-69 victory on Thursday. NBA legends and sports icons marvel at Stephen Curry's heroics for Team USA. Welcome to the Olympics, Stephen Curry. It was only a matter of time before the Golden State Warriors star made his mark on these games, and in true Curry fashion, he did it in dramatic style. Curry dropped 36 points, grabbed 8 rebounds, and nailed 9 three-pointers, just one shy of the US Olympic record set by Carmelo Anthony. Every single point was crucial for Team USA. From the outset, it was clear that Curry was in one of those zones NBA fans have marveled at for the past decade. He drained a shot on the very first possession and never looked back. An explosive first quarter saw Curry pour in 17 points, including five three-pointers, capped by his signature no-look three in transition. But defeating a team three times is no easy task, especially when that team features a 3x NBA MVP like Nikola Jokic. Serbia wasn't rattled by Curry's early onslaught and surged to an 11-point halftime lead. They couldn't seem to miss from beyond the arc, putting Team USA in serious trouble. Serbia extended their lead to 13 heading into the fourth quarter, by which point they had already sunk 15 three-pointers. The US was on the brink of one of the biggest Olympic upsets in history. Thankfully, Team USA boasts three of the greatest basketball players ever, Curry, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant. These three legends stepped up when it mattered most. As the teams battled back and forth, Curry drilled a three-pointer to give the US a one-point lead, followed by a powerful transition layup from LeBron. And when Team USA needed a dagger to seal the victory, the all-time leading scorer in US history, Kevin Durant, delivered. The trio combined to score the final 13 points for Team USA, completing the comeback. How fortunate are we, as basketball fans, to witness these three legends shine in the final moments, likely representing Team USA together for the last time. NBA legends and even global sports icons took to social media in awe of Curry's performance, with past and present superstar guards like Magic Johnson, Dwayne Wade, Damian Lillard, and Ja Morant among them. Even soccer legend Tony Cruz joined the conversation, just hours after his Germany loss to host nation France in the first semi-final. LeBron James described it as a classic Chef Curry game, while his Los Angeles Lakers teammate Anthony Davis also praised the Warriors star, and Joel Embiid, after a game in which Serbia once led by 17 points. But the job isn't finished yet for Curry and Team USA, who now face host nation France for the gold medal on Saturday.